Hey, 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 everyone. You know why I have a special interest today? Is it because of the, the flowers or the side of my mirror or my door or the wall or my t-shirt? Nah, I mean, nah, not that kind of special interest. Well, in today's Super Flashlights Reox Saturday for, hey, 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 okay, kidding. Anyway, well, in today's Super Flashlights Reox Saturday, I will be reacting to NS Special Interest Union Engines version 1. So I'm going to the laptop. Here I go. Alright then. So the first Special Interest Union, or NS Special Interest Union Engine, was Operation Lifesaver, also known as 9252. I got it right also known as the 25th Anniversary Unit. And here it comes. All right, second engine trailing on 34A heading west, heading west in Anvil, Pennsylvania on December 28th, 2019. Oh my goodness. The day after my 17th birthday, Wow, look at that mixed freight. This was the first time I caught trains in Anvil. How pretty awesome is that? There goes some auto racks, but I'm moving along. Alright, if you want to see the end, that's fine by me. But I better make it quickly. Okay, the end's getting boring. I just want to move on. Come on, end. There's the M. Oh, and there's NS Train Model 22 Redstone Rail Production. So moving along. Ah, cool. Well, this is really short, so I'll make a stopping point. That's another Operation Lifesaver, but this time... It's a little short, short spur line engine. So that was my first special interest union engine. I'm sorry, my first and a special interest union engine in Virginia. How awesome is that? Wait till you see this. Once again, there was another one in Harrisburg. Crossing the bridge, but I couldn't tell that mixed freight resident. See that? The fourth engine trailing. Actually, the third trailing and the fourth engine on the mixed freight train heading west. Another short line and NS Operation Lifesaver Union engine. I had seen them since 2016. I saw them in 2016, 2017. Didn't see them in 2018, probably due to focusing on foreign engines, but I'm likely to see some more this year in 2019, so moving along. Alright then, it's the same it's the same video from the Ennis Heritage Union Engines, the last React Saturday episode. And I know this one. That was NS7200 leading NS5 507 coal train, an empty coal train heading west. West. That There's my cousin Redstone Rail Productions on the other side. And I remember catching this on my 18th birthday on December 20. 7th 2017 real quick so the other operation lifesaver well i couldn't tell the date but it was taken from november 2017 on thanksgiving the other operation lifesaver was taken on november 30th 2017 so moving along all right then moving along is what i said Alright, so here's another special interest, 4002, in 2018, there it is, 
So that was my first DCDAC, as well as 7200 was my first SD80 MAC. Wow, this was taken from April 5th, 2018. Wait till you see it leading. All right, there it is leading. I remember this on August 9th, 2018. That's the one leading with the BNSF trailing the westbound grain train. I remember when it was trailing back on April 5th, 2018 on NS211, an intermodal train heading west. Wow, pretty epic. Wait till you see another DCDAC. Okay, I'm really sorry. That wasn't 23C, that was actually 211. NS211, but I remember seeing NS4055 on August 10th last year. My first DC to AC rebuild, however, doesn't seem to count as a heritage union, but it's still pretty awesome. Ah, oh, I'm loving this, really loving this. Moving on. Ooh, I remember this one. It was a barcode on December 27th, 2018. My 19th birthday trailing on, wait a minute, there it is, the barcode, trailing on NS63 V, a westbound trash train. Boy, did the trash stink that one cold, sunny morning at sunrise, but I didn't care, so I'm moving on. Oh boy, this is a good one. NS4000 leading 19G mixed freight, NS19G mixed freight. There it is, I can see the blue from. And I remember that on my birthday too. Boy, did that make my birthday. So here it comes. Wow, pretty epic and awesome. Wait till you see the next one. All right, here's 4077, December 28th. There it is. Trailing on 21E Westbound Intermodal. Wow, the day after my birthday in the rain. That made my day. Wait till you see 411. Okay, here's 411. Don't mind that glitch. And I remember this one with the next Conrail on 16T Mix Freight heading east. Gosh, was it raining? Once again, the same date I caught 4077. Sorry I didn't catch 4,003 and 4,000. I was tired out from the rain. But who cares? Ooh, I remember seeing these power lines along the tracks. I should have not put this too close because it's dangerous. But this was the last time, so here it is. X-Conrail, 411, and the Flying Dutchman Graffiti from the last episode. So I'm moving along real quickly. All right. And NS4088, my first DC to AC leading NS824 coal train in Crew, Virginia. That was on March 8th, 2019, as well as my first NS special interest engine in 2019. NS4002 was my first in 2018. So here it is, NS4088. All right, there's the coal train, not that dirty. And as I was saying, 411, last one 2018, not counting the drop, NS 4003. And NS 7200, last one in 2017. NS 199252, first and only in last one in 2000. <laughs> Sorry, in two <laughs> Too much talking. In 2019. 2016 moving along wow pretty cool coal cars or coal hoppers loaded up with coal oh, i remember this one on 19g that was on april 5th 2019 ns 4071 well at least i had a dc to ac back back in april on spring break on a cloudy afternoon or morning in anfield pennsylvania and that's the fixed spot, and I like this spot best of all. Wait till you see it coming. But I'll move right ahead. Alright, here it comes on 19G. Normal lead, 
There it is, trailing, and a normal trailing. Wow, look at those white tankers with black stripes moving along. Oh boy, I remember this on Father's Day, June 19th, 2019, NS4067. I remember this trailing on NS29G and Crew Virginia westbound intermodal train. That was the westbound mixed freight train on the last video. So here it comes. I thought I had the Wabash, but it didn't come back west. But now I found out how to get it correctly from the. Never mind the horn. There it is. NS4067. Welcome, NS4067. My first westbound special interest in Virginia. Moving along. All right, then. NS4095. Wow, this one is slow. And it was on 19G. So that was like in July. I can't remember the date, but I'll soon memorize it. All right, here comes, here, there goes the normals. And what's the last engine on the train? And that's 4095 on 29G in Crew, Virginia. Wow, that's totally awesome. Too bad it was moving slowly. Well, this is a long video, so I'm going to move right along. All right, so that's NS 1819. Walk by these auto racks heading east, although it was pulling out and stopping in Crew, Virginia. Okay, there it is. Hey, that was kind of similar to when I first caught NS1069 for Genuine. That was totally awesome. So I'm going to move right ahead. Well, there it is in the distance. But I can make it even better. Alright, there it is. But you can barely see it. Sorry, it was blocked by these auto racks. There it is. Next time, I'll try to get it in its full, in its full appearance. So in the meantime, that's all the NS Special Interest Union and that's all the NS Special Interest Union engines I can react to in this Super Flashlights React Saturday. All right, that's about it. So far, I had same old Special Interest Unions, Operation Lifesaber, SD80 MACs, DC the AC Conservation, and Barco. Well, like to this, hold on, like to this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye, and I'll see you guys again for another Super Flashlight 3 Act Saturday. For a big smile, I'll try again. Still need some practice.